Libra. Oh, Libra. What's going on, Libra gang? Happy New Year. What's going on in the life of a Libra for the month of January 2019? <laughs> Are we evolving? We have new opportunities. Are we spreading our wings like the damn phoenix and flying off, taking off like, oh, got to get out of here. Telling all the things that you want to have under a rug. Get over here. Huh? Libra. Y'all, happy new year. Many, many, many blessings to you. Many wishes of prosperity. You guys love. As I was actually meditating on your energy, you guys, I kept getting, um, premonition premonition like it was okay how can I put it it's like it was like movement but it was like movement in the midst of like coins and then the damn ace of pentacles and two decks wanted to jump out on the damn floor while I was shuffling the cards so I said you know what <laughs> if my Libras ain't chasing no new money I don't know what the hell they doing all right so this will be definitely be I feel the prosperous year for you guys you guys I'm definitely taking a break all right, <laughs> so I currently have a $15 special going on for personal readings. If you're getting a 30 through a 60 minute special uh, of session, um, it is a $15 off special going and that definitely includes my emergency readings and during my break, I will possibly open up on the weekends um, and take just three emergency readings only, okay? So you guys, there's going to be a lot of changes made, but y'all, y'all, we made it. We made it. Y'all, we made it. You guys, last year, if it didn't teach us about anything, it should have taught us about family, structure, loyalty, fulfillment, desires, as well as truly, truly, truly learn to trust within ourselves, okay? Trust what you feel because you felt that shit for a reason. Do you understand? Really, really, really learning how to respect and honor the God within ourselves, okay? So without further ado, let me get my, to my intro shit. This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Libra for the whole month of January 2019. If you need a personal reading, because this is simply general, please find that information within the description. I worked hard on that shit, and I'm working on my website, so I got some shit to do, okay? So with that said, you guys, this is going to definitely be a busy month. I have a Libra Rising, so trust me, I'm chasing some new shmoney, some new honeys, some new everything, you understand? In a very authentic way. So you guys have really been through a lot this year. I cannot wait to see what the hell these cards got to say. What I have, um, and for those of you who are new to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Oka. <laughs> also, if you're new to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I'm going to cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can better assist you and resonate with you better without cussing, okay? Love you much. Love you long time. But we're going to keep it rocking. New family. Old family. Family, period. Family. New subscribers. Old subscribers. Thank you so much, y'all, for y'all love, y'all support. Let, allow me to share my light, my wisdom, you know, my enlightenment with you guys. Just thank you so much. You know, I, I can't really, I'm not going to cry, so I'm not going to get into that. But I just truly appreciate all of you all for all of your support, you guys. It's been quite the year, but a lot of you guys have just kept it trucking with me, and I thank you so much, all right? Um, for all the likes, shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all, I appreciate you. We a family, you know what I'm saying? We don't judge each other. We love, we like, we love, we enlighten, we share, we grow, we evolve over here. We don't do that fighting and that drama shit. We do that shit on other people's channel, all right? So for my new subscribers, welcome to the family, and we're going to get this shit popping, all right? So for the sign of Libra for the month of January, the angel message that you guys had came from Archangel Haniel, okay, and it's sensitivity, all right? I have to get you guys uploaded because I was like, my lighting sucks, but we're going to work with what we got, okay? So with this um, Archangel message, it says... You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. L literally, when I heard that, I literally heard, don't be afraid to say no. When I saw that, I heard, don't be afraid to say no. It's okay to say no. Going forward, if 2018 didn't teach you anything, it should have taught you boundaries, Libra, and to respect your feelings of things. Because when you're dealing with people, people tend to do people shit. You get what I'm saying? And when I say they tend to do people shit, people going to get mad and they going to have some shit to say whether you do for them or you don't. 
people deal with in this generation period we deal with each other and even us i could say we because i've been guilty of this shit as well we have i'm not gonna really say motives but everyone has their end result we have what we want to see we have the intention that we actually want to set and deal with somebody and we want to see some shit happen the way that we want to see it coming so when we do not we tend to react you know in a certain way and it's really about it's not saying that that's wrong but it's just acknowledging those moments to say oh wait a minute <laughs> all right i'm tripping let me get my shit together because maybe it's a different way of looking at this particular you know uh situation maybe there's a different way of looking at that you know it's, it's it's allowing yourself to see both sides of the spectrum but still don't get lost in the sauce and still put yourself in your needs and what it is that matters to you the most first that's what happens if you ain't straight how the fuck is you gonna get somebody else straight think about it right so spirit what messages do you have from beautiful leaders for the month of january A lot of you guys, new beginnings, flourishing, started from the bottom, now we're here. During this time, a lot of you all are really embracing that authentic you, your authentic self. Whether your authentic self is this beautiful life source or your authentic self is an asshole. Like I said, no way is the wrong way. It's ultimately really, really, really starting from ground one and getting to know and embrace your inner self in order for you to project that love externally out. You've learned the lessons. You've had all the damn tower moments. You have been through from through the damn mud. And now it's starting. Starting over, but not in the sense of feeling victimized with starting over. But actually loving yourself and starting over from a place of beauty. Because you're moving forward with, with the lessons. New blessings. Because there's this new found sense of appreciation. There's this sense of gratitude. There's this sense of really seeing the light side of situations so that you can actually manifest and truly see where it is that you're going. But not taking that heavy shit with you. You're starting over perspective wise the way that you see things you understand you can see things in from a negative aspect from a positive aspect but it's about you starting new new opportunities new beginnings new fresh ways of looking at things a new eyesight new hindsight you understand yeah for some of you all again removing the mask taking the mask off seeing things for what they are Allowing the change to happen. Allowing newness to come in. Seeing how it is that others reflect it. Uh, pretty much our reflections to us. And our mirrors to us. Okay? So I feel like the things that... And it's really... Again, that's that, that starting over. Seeing things from a new perspective in order to move different. Learn what you... Be grateful for what, what it is that you have to go through in order for you to learn. But learn how to take that perspective and be willing to be open to a new perspective in order to know how to move different. If that's the only way you've known how to move or known to look at things, be open to having that new insight and receiving that new insight during this time, y'all. The first week of January, I feel like it's all about newness. Some of you all may be moving to new places. Some of you all may be actually, some of you all actually going to have the opportunity I feel like this is external to you all, but someone is going to finally take off the mask during this time. And I feel like this is going to give you a new perspective of how you've seen the particular situation, but for you to appreciate the growth within you. Externally and internally. Month of January, yeah. A lot of you all, there is harmony within the self happen. There's this confidence coming back. There's this internal glow. It's like, can't nobody, can't not a motherfucker steal my glow. A lot of you all, you really not got to stop seeing the what I can't do. Well, hope, hopefully, well, maybe, let's hope so. A lot of you all are only seeing the negative in situations, okay? Or have been in the past, but moving forward, a lot of you all are coming to harmony and really trusting your best self. You're not seeing the I can'ts. You're no longer going to look at things and just sit on them from a place of fear. You're going to actually move on that shit with knowing I can be successful because I am. And it's the belief in that, the fact that you are, that puts you in that place, babes. It's that belief. Thank you. It's that belief. Yeah. 
For some of you all, this is destined. You're moving towards your destiny and knowing that you are spiritually guided, you're spiritually protected, and it's okay to be vulnerable. Taking forward with you the lessons, not the hardship of the things that you have to go to to go through to get to that place, okay? Yeah, for some of you all, some of y'all feel like time, time is out for a motherfucker. You're seeing situations for what they are. I definitely feel like this has to do with someone, um, some of you all, when it comes to your twin flame and your soulmates, and I keep saying I'm going to make a twin flame video this year, I'm going to do that shit. I definitely feel like there's this harmony coming, a harmony in the place of, well, in the space of an aspect of looking at things, okay, I'd say, coming from that space. But I feel like some of you all have been waiting on someone to message you, waiting on clarity, waiting on validation from someone in order to move forward. And I feel like it is infinite. It's fated for you and someone to have this conversation, to have this dealing. But a lot of you all are under, are not understanding that you're needing to find that harmony within yourself for you not to need that from another individual to validate who you are and your level of confidence. Because for some of you all, some of y'all got a massive download coming around this new moon period as well some of you all destiny is faded some of you all also are faded to come into great wealth some of y'all actually may be um, speaking to people about inheritance during this time but you're definitely freeing yourself and allowing expansion to come into your life as well from an aspect of how you look at things, but not only how you look at things, even how you move towards meeting your goals, how you choose to speak speak life into yourself. Some of y'all have really been beat down when it comes to from an emotional aspect. I, I feel like I'm hearing you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. So I'm feeling like with that, a lot of you all may have been told, you know, what you can't or allow people to project their fears onto you in the past. But going forward in January, I feel that you're you're no longer carrying the weight of other people. You're no longer extending yourself. Don't overextend yourself during this time. I feel like if there's a, if there's a choice between choosing what matters in my home life and choosing what's going on with my damn family on the outskirts, it starts at home. Structure, balance, order. It starts at home. If your ass ain't right, you can't get nobody else right. And some of you are, you're going to stop allowing people to pull the strings in your damn life and emotionally manipulate you to keep you stuck in this box and this everlasting, what feels like a damn video game. Some of y'all going to pull the fucking cord during this time. Game fucking over. I'm pouring water on this shit. How about that? But you're definitely seeing things with new eyes. And with you doing so, it's really going to put you in a not only very philosophical place I feel and some of y'all I heard Sagittarius and I also heard Virgo so some of y'all could be dealing with Sagittarius Virgo I also heard Capricorn some of y'all could be dealing with Capricorn um and there was also Gemini some of you guys could also be dealing with Gemini but I feel like with that <laughs> expansion there's a birth of something new happening and it was infinite but I feel like this is more so the birth of the new you the rebirth of Libra coming into alignment with myself and not looking at it from a place of oh I gotta start over but looking at it from a place I'm grateful because I freed myself from allowing people to manipulate me allowing people to emotionally beat me down on what I'm not doing when they got the same fucking opportunities and the same energy that I could put forth to do that shit for themselves I will not feel beat down or less than because of your damn projected fears no more I don't see life through the eyes that you see life on. And, under, and I understand, though, I'm Libra, and I work with the we of things. You're going to feel me on things in January 2019. Uh, you're going to get left. Period. All right? So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? Finances. For the month of January 2019. What messages do you have? Ooh, on my Libra and finances with that shuffle going on like that I strongly want to tell you guys <clears throat> don't overspend during this month I do feel the fact that them damn ace of pentacles once I have fought twice <laughs> I definitely feel the energy of prosperity but I feel don't overdo it like I said or allow people to make you feel guilty and tell me ass no it's okay to say no shit 
Start it from the bottom, now we heal by yourself. You understand? Never forget. Forgive, don't forget shit. You understand? Right, so spirit, <laughs> what messages do you have for my Libras? The finances, the, the again, shit, shit, jumps off the table. Yeah, whatever it is that you actually were, were putting your um, work into, leaving out of January, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of y'all have a life purpose to work around children, and I feel like for those of you who are in school for some type of nursing, counseling, um, any type of social services, um, child protective service, anything having to do with children, this is a very flourishing month for you all. Children also travel for some of you all. Okay, you may have to travel during the month of January. I feel like some of y'all was keeping you moving forward, keeping you from moving forward is the fear of, well, what this one here going to do without me? And what about this person? And what about that? What about you let the universe here be who, or let, let God be who God is, let the universe work that out, just like you have been working that out, pushing forward to work your ass off of on that. Some of you all, for those of you all who are waiting on some type of financial decision when it comes to um, assets, some type of separation when it comes to a marriage. I do feel things are going to work in your favor. Some of you all are resisting changes. Some of you all straight like this. The month of January, you really need to put the goddamn bottle down because for some of y'all, what's holding you back from being great financially is your own damn addiction. Some of y'all drink too damn much. There, I said it. I love you much. Put the damn bottle down. Some of y'all, for those of you who are entrepreneurs, <laughs> Some of y'all during this time, there's a need to isolate yourself. Some of y'all, somebody's dealing with a damn Pisces or a Virgo who's literally a financial blockage to you straight like that. This person is a karmic, okay? They're a karmic. How you recognize that you are dealing with the karmic partner? When somebody comes in your damn life and all of your damn money, your finances, shit goes to fucking shreds half the damn time. Your life, every damn thing is falling down London Bridge. And then when you break up for a few days, this motherfucker leaves. Then opportunities just fall in your lap. Chances are you're dealing with a karmic motherfucker. Okay? You're dealing with a karmic. All right? Straight like that. This year, I'm not holding back on shit. I, I always been 100. But there are sometimes I'll be like, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to go in the comments and be seeing people talking shit. But you know what? I'm about that shit. I am an Aries. All right? And with that said, I have a Libra rising. So, you know, I cut two ways. In the Pisces moon, I don't play that shit. Okay? So, I'm going to tell you like it is. We family. If we family and I love you, I should be able to tell you the truth. Right? Well, all right. Somebody dealing with a karmic motherfucker. Let that ass go and bam. <laughs> here comes the coin fall. All right. Some of you all. Yeah, some of you all who are business owners, especially if you do any type of intuitive work. If you uh, let's say you work on YouTube here as a light worker, you some of y'all or I'm here in medicine woman. OK, some of you all may be moving forward and actually pushing. It's about marketing with that, baby. You have to use these free social media platforms for what they are. OK, uh, and for what they offer, like YouTube, for example, people who get on here um, who are readers and you get on here, then you already know um, how YouTube works as far as some type of like um monthly you know revenue for you as well as if you actually extend your services outside of just working strictly on you know it, it's about expansion do things differently i'm hearing also but if with that whatever you've been working on uh starting from 2018 especially if you are in any type of intuitive work mediumship um readers um healers if some of you all make music there are artists there's artists in here too whatever it is that you planted the seeds in in 2018 i'm here in march of 2019 that's going to move forward in a tremendous way but you will start making the doing the groundwork as far as seeing things actually moving forward in a slow and steady way but i feel like it's really Allowing you to kind of learn the in-betweens as well as what you need to do. And I'm hearing legalities. So some of you guys really need to work on the legalities of what it is that you're working on. Okay. Um, some of y'all have been working on something for eight months. Some of you all is two months. There's a strong emphasis on intuitive work and working with children. Somebody divorced, somebody divorced settlement is coming. And I don't feel that you see this coming, whoever I'm talking to. Especially if you're divorcing um, a Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, strong emphasis on the Cancer, as well as Scorpio. 
somebody also have some type of legalities going on behind the scenes. There is somebody who could have possibly receive some type of child support notice, like maybe uh your your child's mother or your child's father went down and did it and you didn't even know. But I feel like this has to do with actually seeing children, like rectifying a situation where someone could actually see their children. So they put child support on themselves, and I feel like they're coming. You're going to receive some type of news financially uh, in order for you guys to compromise, all right? Seeing things from the new eyes, leave a see. See things from a different perspective in order for you guys to have that harmony, okay? There's an end to discord. But financially... Yeah, some of y'all really got to get out y'all damn head and move forward on what it is that you need to move forward on. Stop telling people your damn business as well. Don't be some of you guys who have been working on something I'm hearing designs. Some of y'all, let me go ahead and get you ready financially. Your friends ain't your friends. Somebody who you knew was supposed to leave in 2018 may steal your idea about a design. And comment below because that came through strong, okay? Don't get mad because you are a creative being. That 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 person actually had to steal that shit from you simply because they ain't no creative being. They're opportunists. You can produce that shit a hundred times more. But it, look at it from a different perspective. Everybody can't go with you and spirit been trying to show you that. Whoever I'm talking to. Some of you all, your music, some of you guys who've been doing music, I feel like you tried to move forward, forward, very, uh, move forward too impulsively in the past. Let me say that. And maybe you have trust issues with um people moving forward but you're going to receive some type of opportunity it looks like the third week of january from someone and i feel like this could have to also have to do with social media okay so definitely stay receptive but there's this need for you to really not be afraid to be vulnerable so that you could be successful i'm talking to an artist okay i'm hearing music so this is you're definitely someone who does music those of you who are intuitive like i said that comes through very strongly your business is going to grow in a massive way you're going through a new cycle. So for those of you who are lacking and really trying to make ends meet during this time, that cycle is in. Like I said, you've gone through your child moments. Now it's time for you to release yourself from this stuck-ass energy and know that you have everything you need and nurture your babies. For those of you who have to choose between love and finances, where have you been? Who was with you in that mud? What does your heart scream out to? Can you really open your heart and really be receptive, okay, if you're not in a financial place? If you're not in a financially stable place, if that has been the issue over and over again, spirit is trying to tell you something. And it's time to be real with people as well as yourself. It starts with you. Look at it with new eyes, baby. Y'all my babies. Y'all be trying to really get everything right with other people, though, you know. That's what people really, 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 I hate when people call kind of Libra selfish. Y'all, you so selfish. You know, because really, what they don't know, I have a Libra rising. We beat our damn selves up. Just trying to make sure everything is fair for everybody, even if we got to sacrifice ourselves. And a lot of us that missed the bus as far as success, we're doing that shit. Now it's time to look. <laughs> this is my only redo I got. <laughs> Watch me work. Stop playing with me, okay? <laughs> All right, so Spirit, what do you have for my leap of love? For the next thing here. 2019, yes. You know, we made it. And we made it. Shit. I didn't think I was going to make it sometimes. <laughs> this lady called me a bitch in traffic, y'all. I was like, I knew I had to get my life together when I stopped cussing so much. And this man almost cut us off. And my baby from the back, he said, you stupid ass. He ain't said, but he paused and he looked. I was like, oh, shit, I got to get my life together. Stop saying that. I got my baby baby. You know, so, y'all. It's a journey for us all. It's a journey for us all. If you got any areas in your life, you know, we all got road rage. I think we was born with it. <laughs> but I'm trying to evolve. You know, I'm working on evolving, and it's a process. It's definitely a process. But I will say we family, so y'all know I'm going to keep it R-E-A-L. I ain't lying to y'all asses. All right. I'm scared. Leave us in love. Some of y'all love life is all over the place. I, ain't, I can't take that. All right, so some of you guys, some of y'all be dealing with a fire sign and you're trying to manifest a new beginning with the fire sign. I do see actually you guys being able to start something new, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're moving actually towards commitment. If you're dealing with the sign of Taurus, this person does want to commit to you. But I feel like for some of y'all, y'all look at commitment as a damn attachment. Hell no. I don't want you attached to me feeling like you could do this, 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 this. Stop. Go back to that place. Where that fear 
Okay, when that fear begin to grow and manifest into your life, and let's go ahead and dead that nip that shit in the bud so we can move forward without without that fear and able to be vulnerable. Because some of y'all, like I told Aries, I think that was, <laughs> y'all getting a two for one special in love and in finances. They come together. So it's that fear that's going to give you against your own damn self that's going to keep you from moving forward. Some of you all may actually, some of y'all are tied to the sign of Capricorn. And I feel like some of y'all are kind of in y'all head about moving forward. But moving forward, I feel like it has to do with this fear of being like alone or feeling like you need someone. And I feel like during this time, a lot of y'all going to really move forward past that. But some of y'all are still going to be in that place. Yeah, some of you guys are moving forward away. Some of y'all are moving forward very fucking fast away from a toxic ass situation from uh, with the tourists, okay, or a Capricorn. Some of you guys, I definitely feel like if you were having issues with finances and love matters, okay, coming from the month of December, some of y'all are dropping the burdens when it comes to a fire sign, every field Sagittarius. I feel like this is somebody who comes in and out your damn life. And it definitely has to do with the past lifestyle. This could also be someone from your past. Some of y'all could have been dealing with this for the past six years, six months, six weeks from this person. But I feel like you're just over the shit. For some of y'all, it's been 10 years. But I feel like you're just done with the shit. Okay, you're leaving this person out in the cold. You're leaving this person just lacking. Fuck it. I'm not dealing with it. For some of you all, you had to possibly move away from somebody in the past. This could be an earth sign, okay, um, due to finances. Or for some of y'all, you're leaving this damn fire sign in the damn dust because you're tired of going through financial situations with their asses. You hear when the damn everything is all good, but when the smoke comes, then your ass take the fuck off. I'm done with it. If I have to build it up my damn self, if I have to build up my own castle, then I'm going to sit on this throne on my own. You understand? saying some of you guys are um some of y'all could also be leaving the water sign cancer pisces scorpio out in the damn dust i feel like for some of y'all you're leaving a fire sign and you possibly falling in love or starting something new with the water sign um and i feel like whomever this person is okay this could actually be your damn knight and shining armor this damn water sign i feel like this is someone who's going to want to take things slowly because they know that you're coming from a place of you know this person more so really wants to start off with the friendship with you before they move things all the way forward because they kind of know where you've been. This is someone who I feel like you guys have been talking to and really expressing things to. But this person is financially stable, I feel. But some of you guys, this is another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I feel like this person is going to move slow, but they ultimately want the same connection, the same um, commitment that you guys really want. But some of y'all are in y'all damn head about it because you're just feeling like, well, I don't know. Because if I leave this situation, well, now I need. Because some of you guys really are afraid to leave a situation due to the fact that you have children with somebody. But I feel like Spirit is really wanting you guys to take that leap of faith, okay? For some of you all, you're going to make a solid, stable offer to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it could be an Aries as well. But I feel like you've been manifesting it, you and this other person. But I feel like. There are times for you in your head about it. Some of y'all are indecisive about dealing with a damn Aquarius. You're just like, I'm over it. Possibly because that person is a juggler. Maybe you were juggling an Aquarius and a fire sign and this was happening to you. But I feel like during this time, y'all moving away from that. I'm not for it. I'm none for it. <laughs> Libras are taking all leaps of faith. Come on now, somebody. Some of y'all are moving forward away from a damn fire sign. If you have a child with this person, I feel like you love this person, but... You don't like the discord. You don't like the damn stagnancy that they bring your damn life. For some of you all, I'm hearing, you don't like the fact that this person is indecisive. Libra, some of y'all are indecisive between two lovers as well. This is definitely someone who you have a child with. For some of you all, you're indecisive about moving away from somebody because some of y'all could be finding out the child pregnant during this time. Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kids. Yes. Y'all love the kids. I definitely feel this is going to be a very expensive year for children as well as entrepreneurship. Okay. So I definitely feel during this time, yeah, some of y'all are indecisive. Some of y'all are indecisive about somebody who you're trying to move forward with and someone from your past who you have children with. Okay. Some of y'all could also be afraid to leave somebody out in the cold because you want somebody who attached to somebody else and they won't leave them that person out in the cold possibly because they find out this person is having a baby. 
some of you guys could want to move forward, but then you find out, bam, I'm pregnant, so I got to go back. <laughs> I got to go actually work and nurture my household again, actually work on forgiveness and shit. But I feel like, what does your heart desire, Libra? What do you want? Because I feel like though you're, having, though you're making that decision, it's not something that you're happy about. What do you truly want? Okay, because I feel like for you, you want to start over. Some of y'all want this damn Aries. I want to start over. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, um, Aries. I feel Capricorn here. Taurus is in the building. Sagittarius is in the building. But you're definitely walking away from feeling as if you, some of y'all are walking away from feeling as if you need another individual because in this in individual's absence, people kill me with this whole, well, I'm going to cut you off and I'm going to show you no asshole. What you showed us both is the fact that I don't need your ass. I did it without you then. So no, come when you come back and knock, knock, <laughs> do it the right way. All right? Because for some of you all, you're going to move forward. You're going to move forward and get that Ten of Pentacles that you were desiring. But for some of y'all, it's, it's a plot twist in the damn outcome because the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles that you were de desiring, you're desiring it from a person who has this motherfucking energy, a person who wants to hold on to situations from the past, a person who has acceptance issues. They need to be validated. So they go out there in the streets and go find out that the streets, the grass ain't green. The grass is fucking off. It, it's fake. They got fake grass. But in the meanwhile, while they left you out chasing waterfalls, Libra was working on themselves. Libra was building. And for some of you all, you were building to be a boss. You were building your motherfucking empire while you was chasing love with this person. This person was chasing waterfalls elsewhere. So Libra decided to, okay, I'm going to grab hold of my coin. And I'm going to go from this king to the motherfucking emperor. Now you got to stand at the gate and hope to God I let you in. Because this is my kingdom. That I built myself. So why should I, Libra, lack that confidence in moving forward in any type of endeavor that I choose to move forward in? Because I'm a motherfucking boss. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the sign of Gemini. Some of y'all could have actually... Yeah, some of y'all are moving forward with your twin flame. Oh, that lightness, that light, that bright light's going to shine. Who could possibly be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this is a divine partnership and you worked your ass off to get to this point. So don't let fear, don't let doubt, don't let what the next person did back then stop where you're going forward, where you're moving forward to. Because if you do, you only let them win. So it's time for you guys to be honest with yourself. Speak that truth with this sword pointing down. Speak that truth. Turn this motherfucker upright. Say what the fuck you got to say and mean it when you say it. And say it with your damn chest. Do you understand me? Because you need to say it. It needs to be said so that you can release. Release. This magician motherfucker who been trying to finesse and finagle to keep their way in your damn life because they want that control. For some of you all, it could be the father of your children. Some of y'all, it could be a damn Virgo. But you're moving forward. I'm moving forward, starting over in love. I'm going to take my goddamn bets and run with them. I'm going to take what I got and run with it. But the fact that I have the lovers, the two of cups, the ace of cups. And this fool card, whether you run in that way or that way, Libra, don't be afraid to run. You understand? So this is what I have for you guys in love. Some of y'all could definitely be running right into a damn Sagittarius who couldn't get their shit right. Some of y'all afraid to deal with the sign of Sagittarius. But I feel like this person has moved away from all of their hoes. I just feel like there's a, a serious conversation that needs to be had and clear boundaries that needs to be set. And I feel that if you separated from this person, really make them feel it. I feel you love this person, but in the meanwhile, be productive and work on yourself and don't lose sight of that. Do you understand? Some of y'all cutting this person the fuck off. Some of y'all... Trust your intuition with that situation. This alone time that you've had, don't look at it as being lonely. It's gave you an opportunity to hone what you feel and get to know what you feel so that you can trust yourself more than you ever have. And moving forward, 
you need that in the place of success as well because it's snakes everywhere. You just got to keep your grass low. Remember that, okay? So this is what I have for my babies for the month of January. If you need a personal reading, I am going doing my readings until the 7th of January. I said the 5th, but I'm going to extend it to the 7th so I get all these damn videos up. I have a $15 off special on my 30 to 60 minute sessions again. And you can find that information within the description after the 7th. I'm going on break. And when the Aries breaks, we break, break. Okay? So much love, many blessings. Again, Happy New Year to you all. Um, y'all, don't be afraid to love. Don't let nobody have that power. That's your authenticity. Love. Unconditional love. Share that. That's who you are. It's okay to share that light. I love y'all. Bye, boo. Mm, namaste.